Hey folks, I'm Brendan, and you're watching The Overqualified Henchman. Today I'm going to be talking about something I've been waiting to come in the mail for a while. Unite Warriors Grand Galavutron! I'm an adult, Mom. I can spend my money how I want. Jeez. This isn't really going to be a toy review, though. Not exactly. Instead, I want to use Grand Ultron here to illustrate a point. That point being, Transformers is bonkers! No, I'm serious. Transformers continuity is completely insane on every conceivable level. You see this? This is a giant robot man made up of five other giant robot men from five distinct parts of continuity who are each a different type of undead giant robot man. Hold on to your energy on goodies, kids, because we are going down the rabbit hole on this one. Before we really start, you need to understand why Transformers continuity is so crazy. Sure, it's been around for more than 30 years, but that's not that long for a franchise. I mean, take Star Trek. It's got five television series, all of the movies, a good number of books, some comics, the occasional video game. It's got time travel and alternate realities, but all in all, it's not that hard to wrap your head around. The thing that's different about Transformers is that it's had all of those sources from the get-go, and they're all given basically equal weight. Right from the beginning, you had a comic, a good portion of which was only ever released in the UK. You had a cartoon airing in Japan and the West with different voice acting and different scripts. And you had the character biographies and story elements that came with the toys themselves. And that's starting with the basic premise of giant space robots that turn into vehicles and are locked in a million year long civil war. But you don't have to take my word for it. Let me give you some examples. The first thing you're going to need to understand here is Unicron. He's a transformer the size of a moon who turns into a moon and eats planets. Imagine Galactus and the Death Star had a baby, that would be Unicron. And like Galactus, Unicron decided he needed a herald. So when Megatron and a bunch of injured Decepticons got thrown out into space, Unicron gathered them up and rebuilt them into his ultimate fighting force. Which gives us the upgraded form of Megatron, Galvatron. But when Rodimus Prime defeated Unicron with the Matrix of Leadership, Galvatron and his Decepticons were left to get back to business, taking over the universe. Galvatron was never great at moderation, however, and by the time the Headmaster's cartoon rolled around, he had a new master plan. See, he wanted to use Earth as the raw materials to build a new Unicron-sized body for himself. A new body that would look like this. Meet? Grand Galvatron. Okay, so this was sort of a questionable master plan to begin with, but it gets worse. See, the process of turning Galvatron into Grand Galvatron was also going to require him to sacrifice his best warriors for parts, which is a part of the plan he probably shouldn't have revealed to his best warriors. Long story short, Galvatron was defeated and buried in the polar ice cap. Because flying through the vacuum of space is one thing, but ice? Watch out! And all of that leads us to... Cyclonus. Now Cyclonus is interesting right off the bat because he's about the only loyal second-in-command in Decepticon history. But he's also super confusing right off the bat. See, Unicron created Cyclonus at the same time he was creating Galvatron, but it's not super clear which Decepticon was upgraded to make this guy. It's probably either Skywarp or Bombshell, but there's an argument to be made for both. The character's recently become a lot more popular thanks to the IDW Comics version of Cyclonus, who is neither a Decepticon nor has anything to do with Unicron. Cyclonus transforms into a space jet and is a remold of Silverbolt, one of the aerial bots. As you can see, the Unite Warriors figure has a much bluer purple than the Combiner Wars figure, and that orange gun barrel is going to come into play real soon. Getting back to our story, Cyclonus, being so loyal, decides to go visit Galvatron's grave. Galvatron's spirit naturally repays the favor by possessing Cyclonus, which is naturally represented by having his head pop out of Cyclonus's stomach. I'm just gonna kind of leave that there for a moment so you can drink it in. Okay, so Galvatron in Cyclonus's body decides that if he can't have Earth, he'll just build his new Grand Galvatron body out of the remains of Unicron. When they get there, Unicron, who's only mostly dead, decides that he's not really down for this either and comes up with a counter-proposal. He reaches across time and space and calls for three undead warriors, starting with... Curse Armada Thrust. His character comes from Transformers Armada, the first of the Unicron trilogy, and a significant series for two main reasons. It was the first series to be jointly created by Hasbro and Takara Tomy, and it introduced Minicons, a third faction of human-sized Transformers who could be used to give power boosts to their larger cousins. Now Thrust here is a master tactician, which is a tough gig in a show where the heroes can pull out a new, more ultimate form every time they start to lose. Between that and being called Squidhead by his boss, it probably shouldn't be a huge surprise that when the opportunity arised, he betrayed Mega Megatron to help resurrect Unicron. Keep in mind, this isn't actually the same Unicron we've been talking about, it's actually an alternate universe version. Thrust thought he was going to get to become Unicron's second-in-command, but not only did Unicron completely ignore him after being resurrected, Thrust actually got caught in one of Unicron's joints and crushed to death. So when our Unicron creates a new body for Thrust, it's fair to say he's got mixed feelings. Now we've still got two undead warriors to go, along with a surprise special guest, 
but that'll have to wait for next week. Don't have a breakdown? Just tune in for part two of my three-part Transformers series where things really get rolling. In the meantime, remember to like, subscribe, and share, and let me know down below your favorite bit of bizarre Transformers trivia. Till all are one, keep on henching.